Hello, my gorgeous Cancerians. This is Debs, and this is your single soulmate from the 1st of July through until the end of December 2022. So this will give us a good idea, guys, of who may be coming in for you over the next six months. I usually put out this series of readings every six months, so the rest of them you will find in my playlist. All right, my lovely Cancerians, let's delve in. Using, of course, an angel aura to help me connect through with Source, and I'm using the Tower of Mystical Moments. So here we go, guys. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in the single soulmate reading for my lovely Cancerians. 1st of July through until the end of this year, 2022. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Azriel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Metatron. Okay, I'm seeing a letter I. I'm seeing a letter I, okay? Here we go, guys. All right, people. So we're going to have eight cards on the board. Let's do that now. It's just a fun series of readings, about 10 minutes, something like that. All right, people. Let's move this over a fraction. Okay. Next, we're moving into a beautiful new deck I bought called Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. All the decks that I use are in the description box below. Okay. So this is the deck. Can we have a couple of energy cards, please, for my lovely Cancerians? For my lovely Cancerians. one okay that wants to come out and that one yeah okay all right people let's move these right over okay hope you can see these cards clearly now shifting into the lighted pathway lightworker tarot and oracle let's just get four cards for you guys so four cards for my lovely Cancerians, please, Michael. Thank you. Okay. That one jumped. Okay, and those two. So there we have it. Answer. Are you ready? Should we see what's going on? Let's have a look at your first card. Let's see what that transpires to be. All right, here we go. The Tower. OMG, what's going on, Cancer? Now, this represents Scorpio and Aries. So it could well be there's a Tower moment pertaining to a Scorpio or an Aries. Or it could be that something here happens and it's simply a shock. Okay? Wow, could be negative, could be positive, but it's always a big surprise, okay? If I can pick up these cards, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, it could be that you meet someone and it's a shock because you feel as if this person is meant for you. It's kind of destiny that you met. The Wheel is bringing about change. So we've got the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune, two major arcanas, Cancer. My goodness. Now this can be a karmic wheel. Let's see what's gonna be going on for you. Seven of Wands, okay. Cancer, there's a sense of feeling very nervous and a bit guarded. We could be dealing with a situation where somebody comes out of the blue, says that they love you, but you're very nervous about this. Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, fire energy. Okay. The Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is such a beautiful energy. I really feel as if 
Someone's going to be moving towards you very quickly. It's going to feel like destiny. It's going to rock your foundations. I feel you're a bit nervous about this because it may happen really fast. But with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, this is someone in love with you. The Fool, Aries energy. Could it be that we have an Aries or a Scorpio, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio coming for you? You may decide to take a leap of faith and a risk with this. Five of Wands. Now this is inner conflict. I'm also hearing playing your cards right. Someone may be being strategic. This is someone playing a game of chess, moving people around this board. It could be that there are a few arguments and disagreements. Maybe this is somebody who comes out of the blue and says, I love you, this is meant to be. You're in shock. You're thinking about taking a leap of faith and a risk. But with the five of wands, are you in your head about this? It's almost as if you don't believe it's real. Okay, three of wands. But this is you waiting for your ships to come in. Cancer, this could be somebody who lives a distance, who is moving very swiftly towards you, almost with the energy of, I'm doing it. Now, could it be this person previously was in another relationship? You're learning that that relationship is over. They're moving towards you, wanting to commit to you. Yeah. The Emperor. Wow, strong Aries. This is somebody taking control. This is somebody who loves you. And they're moving very quickly towards you to say, I want to be with you. Let's kind of do this. I think you're in shock, Cancer. <laughs> Rather lovely, though. I mean, with the Emperor, it could be that this person wants to marry you. It could be that you suddenly find out if this is somebody you knew before. If they were in a relationship with somebody else, they're ending it. And they are very quickly moving in your direction to say that they've taken control of their situation. They've done the right thing with the emperor in the upright. And this is someone who wants to be with you. My goodness, Cancer, how beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at the energy cards. All right, so we've got deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. Now, you could decide to take some time to really think about this. I think it's going to come out of nowhere. Pleiades, very interesting. Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. You two could have a very intense soul connection. It could be the two of you were brought together for a soul mission. This could be twin flame with the energy of the emperor. So hold your horses, Cancer. This person's coming in, okay? Let's have a look at Lighted Pathway. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Apology. Now, Cancer, is this someone that you were off and on with? Is this someone that you hoped to be with, but it just didn't pan out? If so, and you know that you're due an apology... They're coming in to do just that. Not only that, I think they've blown up another situation and they're coming in for you. You're not going to believe it. Surprise. Now, this is really lovely because it makes me feel that this tower moment is simply a surprise. It's nothing for you to be worried about, but this is going to come out of nowhere. It could be that whoever this emperor is has suddenly made a decision to do this to be with you. It could be even someone who is moving to be with you. We've got travel energy here. Three of Wands is looking out across the water, you know? But you're nervous, you're guarded. I don't think you quite believe this is happening, Cancer. Now, third message. Expect that this is going to happen within three months. So definitely by the end of this year, guys... I think you are going to be in a beautiful, new, very serious commitment with your emperor. Careful of obsessive thoughts. Now, Cancer, 
you may be tempted to stay up in your head about this, worry about this, stress about this. Do I do this? Don't I? I'm not quite so sure because it's all happening very fast. But Cancer, I believe that you already know this person. You know who this is. It may be that this is someone who was wrapped up in another long-term situation. I think they're making a decision to end it because they believe that you are supposed to be with them. Very strong cards of destiny. They love you with the Knight of Cups. This is someone very romantic. I feel your energy is a Seven of Wands. You're nervous, you're guarded, you're not sure. Should you take a leap of faith and a risk in a conflict? But with the Three of Wands, this is someone who's coming towards you from a distance. They're taking action. They're doing this the right way. They could be coming in to apologise to you, to say, sorry, it took me so long. Sorry, I was sitting on the fence. It's going to be a surprise. It's going to happen within three months. Just don't overthink this cancer. Take it slowly. But I think this is a beautiful connection that's going to be moving forward quite swiftly. Okay? So, wow, my goodness. Cancer, I'm leaving it there. I hope that you've loved this reading. It's beautiful. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, guys.